Hello everyone. Today we shall study about synthetic fibers and different types of plastics. This is chapter number 3 from class 8 science. In this chapter we shall study about various type of synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers are man-made fibers. These are made from synthetic materials and these are made in the factories. In class 6 and 7 we have studied about various type of natural fibers natural fibers from the plants like jute and cotton and then natural fibers from the animals like silk and wool but here in this uh, video we shall study about different types of synthetic fibers these synthetic fibers they consist of smaller units which join together to form larger units and these smaller units are called monomers and the larger unit which is made by joining of various smaller units is called polymers so these polymers are different type of polymers they constitute different type of synthetic fibers various type of synthetic fibers which we are going to discuss in this video are rayon nylon polyester and acrylic all these we will study one by one in this video First one is rayon. This fabric look like silk. As we all know, silk is one of the very uh, attractive and uh, it is liked by everyone. But this is quite expensive. So everybody cannot afford that. Keeping this thing in mind, scientists were trying to made a fiber which look like silk and which is cheaper one, which is uh, low cost. So, uh, scientists were successful by the end of 19th century and they made the fiber called rayon. Rayon look like uh, silk and it is having the similar properties as that of silk. Rayon is called artificial silk and this is not fully synthetic fiber, uh, I must say, because it contains wood pulp. So, wood pulp we are getting from the natural source. So, we cannot say that it is fully synthetic fiber as uh, wool, uh, wood pulp is being used for making artificial silk or rayon. And this is made by the chemical treatment of this wood pulp and then we will be getting a fabric which is shining like silk and which is low cost of course. Then this rayon can be uh, colored or dyed in different colors according to the choices. And rayon can be mixed with cotton for making bed sheet and other fabric for clothing. And this is very skin friendly and skin soothing fabric. And when it is mixed with wool, it can be used for making carpets. So these are some uses of rayon. Then the next fiber which we will be studying in this video is synthetic fiber nylon. Nylon is actually the first fully synthetic fiber. In making of nylon we are not using any kind of uh, material which is obtained from a natural source. That is either from the plants or from the animals. It is prepared by using coal, water and air. Yes. It seems to be very surprising but this synthetic fiber nylon is made from coal. And uh, here in this picture you can see the uh, this kind of things which are made from nylon. And uh, various other things which are made from nylon are like the socks, ropes, tents, toothbrushes, car seat belts, sleeping bags, curtains and many more, many other things are made from this synthetic fiber. This nylon is actually very strong fiber. Yes, it is really very strong and it is elastic, it is lightweight, it is lustrous, that means it is having a particular shine. And because of all these characteristics, nylon is one of the most popular fabric for clothing. Being very strong and elastic, and lightweight also this is used for making parachutes and for making the ropes for rock climbing here in this picture where you can see that this parachute and this rope 
is made from nylon rock for uh, rock climbing is made from nylon nylon is a fiber as i have told earlier also it is very strong it is stronger than the steel wire so now you can have an idea how strong it is next synthetic fiber is polyester polyester is used uh, in making fabric and this fabric is wrinkle free very easy to wash and it is uh, very easy to maintain also we need not to iron the polyester cloth all the time so it is very easy to maintain this kind of fabric and the dress materials which are made from uh, polyester then another type of uh, uh, polyester is the most popular form of polyester is terylene and terylene fabric is again uh, i must say this is very popular as it is wrinkle free easy to maintain easy to wash because of all these properties polyester fabric is very commonly used now comes pet pet is very uh, familiar form of polyester and we all must have heard about various kind of containers and these containers you can see in your kitchen also these are available in different shapes sizes colors and all that and very useful we cannot imagine our kitchen without these pet jars and beside this making making of this uh, these containers it is also used for making bottles and utensils uh, photographic films wires and some other useful products then uh, comes another type of fabric and that is acrylic see we all know that wool is obtained from sheep but wool is expensive being a natural fiber it is expensive so uh, scientists have made a cheaper version of that and that is artificial wool and this artificial wool is called acrylic it looks like wool keep us warm it resembles uh, wool in all, all the characteristics. This is called acrylic and this is synthetic. It is not expensive and easily available and easily affordable by every one of us. Then why do we use these synthetic fiber? Now the question is like this. These synthetic fibers are most commonly used for making different type of dress materials what is the reason why do we use these kind of synthetic fibers because uh, they absorb less water that means they will dry up very quickly they are durable and they are less expensive easily available very easy to maintain and these are easy to wash okay so because of all these reasons it is use all these kind of synthetic fibers are used for making different kind of dress materials or different type of fabrics used for different purposes that's all about the synthetic fibers i hope that this video will help you to understand different type of synthetic fibers thank you so much